sports. 49ers, kind of a, a renaissance, kind of coming back around to what they used to be, I guess. And, uh, He's up with the Rams, dude. I, I wish uh, <laughs> Gurley didn't play. Right. Todd Gurley did not play. Jared Goff had, what, like 78 yards passing? Not very impressive at all. So <laughs> I know when you think of the 49ers, at least me, I think of like Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo, right. the quarterback. But really, this 49ers team, they're going to hang their hat on defense. Like, if they're going to play the, if they're going to play strong defense, they're going to run the football. That's like old school NFL football. Exactly. I'm, I'm completely on board now. It works. Yeah, I think it's big trouble. As you're a Seahawks fan, you're like, uh. In fact, I think, I looked, I think it was uh, November 11th, the first time the Niners and the Seahawks go head to head. You know what I don't like? What? Is, uh, <laughs> A team that uh, can play like crap and still beat the crap out of you. Yeah. Right. Because of the Rams. Because, but I mean, let's not overlook the fact that Jared Goff had 52 yards for the whole game. It was unbelievable. He had 500 the other week against us or whatever. I was saying the 49ers defense right. is the is going to be their floor. calling card. As a 49er scared. fan, now at what point do you start breaking out the uh, the gear and start peacocking over here? 40, here's the deal. I <laughs> Here's the deal. I've liked a lot of bad teams right. for a long time. So, like, I'm... I, I ease into it very exactly. slowly. I, 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 we're going, like, week six, seven, eight? I've got some 49er gear, and, and I still rep it, but I'm I not going to be strutting with my chest out quite yet. Because we're over a quarter of the way in, and you have yeah. lost yeah. it, my friend. I mean, I'll, I'll give him this. He's being very smart, but it, you're showing signs. Of a good team. Right. Yeah. We're seeing some signs. Yeah. It's, it's looking good. If they take another step and keep dominating, uh, they're going to be trouble. That's the way I see it. See, uh, a, wise old, a wise old man named Forty told me before the season started, don't get on that roller coaster. Don't do it. Don't so I'm like, it. okay, we're, we're, we're still heading up. You know, you're still ready, getting ready for that big dip, that first big drop on the roller coaster. Like, we're still going up. Right. And I'm like, okay, 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 let's go. Let's keep going a little bit. This feels good. We're going up a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Um, perhaps so. the Seahawks could provide a reality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maybe. I'm just saying, Seattle looks really good. I mean, who would have thought, and, and this is a great point here, who would have thought that the LA Rams are the third best team in the NFC West right now? They've got a little hole here. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, and if you look at the entire, I love the NFC. If you look at the entire NFC, and I was kind of doing the math last night, the Rams would not even be in the playoffs. Wow. I know we're only like a third of the season or whatever the math works but out to. there's a lot of middle ground with the teams. Like over in the NFC East where the Eagles are, Eagles and the Cowboys are yeah. tied for first at 50%. They're For, both 3-3. Three and three. 40, if you look at the entire NFC, the whole, the whole conference, there's only like one or two teams technically – out of what I would call the playoff picture right. right now. Like every like that's why I love it. Everybody's in it right now. Like 49ers, yes, they're undefeated, but everyone else there's like a log jam. There's so many teams that are, you know, like around four and two or three and three. Right. They're like there's so many good teams right there that you couldn't even say who's gonna make who's going to make the playoffs right now in the NFC. Because it's just so bundled together the right now. The problem is the Rams are losing a lot of key divisional games. Yes. That's the problem. And those are the games that you do not want to lose for playoffs. you got to make it out of your division. And yeah. It's looking rough. Third best team in their division right we'll now. We'll see what happens. Crazy. we got more football to get to. Uh, some baseball as well. We, we're in the playoffs now. It's all brought to you by Matheson Gas. They are the gas professionals. Three locations across the Inland Empire. Rancho Cucamonga, Fontana, and Riverside. They've got your welding supplies as well, but... Always number one, strongest, undefeated in the gas game. That's Matheson Gas, the gas professionals. And you can visit them online at MathisonGas.com. So get your gas at Matheson Gas. Uh, Rams lose at home. Wasn't pretty against the 49ers. No, it wasn't. Uh, equally as bad, I guess, the Chargers at home against the Steelers Ooh, on Sunday Steelers Night Football. They tried to kind of save it with some fourth quarter scoring, but that game was ugly. Because nothing was yeah. happening. No. They could do nothing. Phillip Rivers could do nothing. I don't know what's up with the offense. Trouble. Like, even when the Chargers aren't playing well, they still score points. One yeah. thing they said in the broadcast last night that I it hadn't really occurred to me was that the Chargers do not spend big money on offensive tackles. Okay. So they're saying, Phillip Rivers, you know, everybody knocks on him because he throws the ball so quick. They're like, this is a byproduct of that. The Chargers do not spend money on their tackles. So Phillip Rivers has had to develop a very quick throwing motion. Hey, blind side. Yeah, he doesn't want to end up on his back, right? Right. Or on his face. Or on his face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, either way. Maybe better your back than your face. It was 24-17 last night. The Steelers get the win against the Chargers. And what's kind of a, a unique storyline in that game was 
the third string quarterback for the Steelers, Devlin Hodges, yeah. making his first start, gets the win, and and I heard he's he's famous for being a duck caller. Did you guys hear about this? I heard about that. They were talking about that last night during the game. He's from a very small school. He's from Samford, not Stanford. Sam. 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 The knockoff version. <laughs> the Kmart version of Stanford. Gets the Chargers the business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this guy from out of nowhere, right. uh, and he's a story. state champion duck caller from, I think it's Alabama or Mississippi so or what? Yeah. yeah, so it's so much worse to get beat by a duck caller. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's where the Chargers are right now. Yeah, it's another skill he has. In the <laughs> right. To the baseball playoffs of the National League. Uh, if you're a Dodgers fan, you're probably like, yeah, who you're, you're completely but, at this point, right? <laughs> yes. yes, you were hoping to get a relief from football, and that didn't come. I out. know, I know, right? <laughs> uh, Hard times. Uh, the Nationals are up on the Cardinals, too. Zip in the National League. Over the American League, the Yankees and Astros are tied at one after Carlos Correa walk-off home run for Houston last night uh, in the 11th inning. So that one's 1-1. One, one. The Yankees-Astros series is really juicy to me. Like, that's a that's a great yeah, series. It is. I'm not really into the Nationals and Cardinals. I don't know why, but the, the, the Yankees and the Astros... I'm, I'm into it. That sounded like me over there, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> is that the H is strong in this one? Yeah. <laughs> I like that over there, 40 says. And then we had an injury to uh, a Laker. Yeah, thumb. so Anthony Davis uh, injured his thumb. Uh -oh. and, yeah, a thumb's kind of a, a tricky injury, right? Like, you don't want to... That's Drew Brees. I mean, especially for a big man. He's going to yeah. be getting a lot of body on him. Yeah, and going back to these couple first preseason games with Anthony Davis and with LeBron, they've looked really good. Yeah. So this is, if you're a Lakers fan, I'd be a little concerned going into... Stay's the, supposed to be okay. Yeah, season opener next, uh, I think it's October 22nd it's against the Clippers, it's coming which is quick. huge. Come out here, Inland Sports, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Please subscribe to the Inland Sports YouTube channel as well. Lots of local content in the IE. Thanks, Inland Sports.